Roman Abamovich's 430 meters superyacht worries Turkish port operator. Marina operators in Turkey refused to take the Roman Abramovich-owned £430 million superyacht because they feared that collecting a fee would violate UK sanctions on Russia. It landed in the Turkish government-owned Bodrum cruise port on Monday morning, replete with helipad and swimming pool. According to the Financial Times, the port's operator, Global Ports Holding, worried charging Mr. Abramovich's yacht berthing costs would breach UK sanctions on Russia. With no choice but to allow the oligarch-owned superyacht to moor at Turkish port, the ship's operator had no choice but to offer the vessel a free pass for the day. Having properly predicted that EU governments would try to seize and expropriate Solaris, its owner sought sanctuary in Turkish seas last month. After exiting Montenegro, the luxury yacht Solaris stopped in Turkey, which has not imposed sanctions on Russia. In an attempt to stop the yacht from landing, a group of Ukrainians flying No War banners boarded a small motorboat. On a mission to stop the battle in early March, Mr. Abramovich and other peacemakers faced terrible symptoms, including temporary blindness. According to Christo Groziv, a renowned investigative journalist who spearheaded inquiry into the tragic occurrence, specialists concluded that the battlefield chemical was the most probable weapon employed. Now it's been revealed that he felt sick enough to inquire of the scientist who was examining him about his death, according to the New York Times story. As part of its ongoing asset freeze and travel restriction campaign against Russian President Vladimir Putin's regime, the EU sanctioned Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich on March 16. Even though Montenegro will join the EU in 2025, numerous Russian superyacht owners have been using the port of Tivit.